Jessie. I've been a full-time artist for 10 years and thought it about time I start sharing my painting techniques and adventures. Subscribe to join me every week for a window into my art life. So this kind of landscape is my favourite landscape to get inspiration from. It's not just that rugged coastline, it's the way the light hits the water. For me it's the expansive horizon line, the islands in the mist, the rainbow over there, the way the sun, even in autumn, completely feels like it changes the landscape and you can feel like you're in another world almost, another time. One of the biggest parts of my practice as a landscape painter is coming into nature and getting inspiration and I think this is the first time I've ever actually been to this part of the coast in Wales. It's the first time I've ever been to Wales. I wasn't expecting it to be this beautiful. I feel like this rugged coastline is gonna just completely inspire me for this new body of work. As you know, I live in Suffolk and it's very flat there. It's lots of big skies. These are like beautiful, rugged cliffs. We can go maybe swimming later in, if the sun comes out, turquoise water. It's a big surf. That's what I've missed so much, the surf. So I feel like we're gonna get some crashing waves, maybe some plein air sketching, some painting. I have no idea what today will hold or this episode will hold, but I feel like it's gonna be really good. <laughs> Seeing a red like this in nature just makes me think of pure pigment, like pure cadmium red or vermilion, just that kind of natural red that you see in nature. And then when you get into the studio and you're using the tubes of paint, it brings you right back to a moment where you're on a cliff edge looking at a really amazing shade of red. last week's episode where we went to London. I've got my Cornelison's bag full of canvases, paints, brushes, linseed oils and everything I'll need to do some painting uh, on the coast. So if you haven't seen that episode, please go and watch it. So we have a little time at low tide, so I think we should walk past this corner here. I have 
no idea what's, I mean I assume the beach, but I feel like it'd be awesome to go and check out if that could be a good composition to paint. It's really lovely though seeing boats just kind of beached in the estuary. That one's called Sly Cat. So I just did a really quick sketch of these islands and I've realised it's actually quite bleached out and I think maybe I should turn to something a bit more kind of depth. There's also a lot of people milling around on the beach and I think it'd be nice to just have a direct focus to um, the kind of shadows. I think I keep getting distracted by the figures and I'd love to paint them but I know they'll move and go and get lunch so I wouldn't want to start painting them and then lose them. Maybe I could just ask them to stay there. see your mistakes and your ideas. Particularly in nature. This isn't about making a perfect painting, it's about making them. this week's episode of Art Life. I hope you enjoyed our Welsh adventure and stay tuned for next week for more wonderful Art Life things. We love doing our posts every Monday. Don't forget to like and subscribe and you can follow me in the week at Jess Oliver Art on Instagram. So I will see you next week. Bye.